Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Airships Conquer the Skies. I've had a rough few days, which is why there hasn't been a video earlier, but we're back. And I think we're going to have to do another build, because as it stands right now, our Panther's pretty good, but it's not quite what I hoped it to be. It doesn't quite stand up against the heavy cannons as well as I'd like it to. Like, it works perfectly fine when we're attacking, like, Knopsh, because there's no heavy cannon presence here. It doesn't really matter. But if we were to go up against, like, Catwick over here, you know. There's some heavy cannons here. Black Spire, I think, especially had, like, a lot of them. That's a lot of them. I should maybe fix some of these. Yeah, that, that would be smart. There we go. There's going to be a lot of heavy cannons, and if we look at, like, their defenses over here... It's going to be plenty of cannons around, so I think we're going to redesign the panther just a little bit. And we'll fit in some popular suggestions that people had. And design a land ship. We'll open a design. Grab ourselves a panther. Now the first suggestion that people made was to fit on, not tracks, but... Spider legs. So we've got the large tracks over here. They provide 1400 propulsion Generate uh, they require coal every eight seconds 1200 HP. We've got the spider legs here. They weigh less I think Yeah, 200 less weight same HP That's uh, At least ten times more propulsion Requires coal every five seconds however it does take them a little bit longer. But that should be good, you know. A lot faster. At the at the moment, our Panther revision here would do 550 kilometers per hour. I think it's actually a lot cheaper as well, but that's because of the armor, so... We're to go back to heavy steel armor and... Actually... Yeah. Spider legs are cheaper. And take up less armor, so apparently spider legs are the way to go according to the game. Now we're gonna chuck out these heavy cannons. You know, we're gonna chuck out most of this to be honest. Because I have a completely different design in mind for you. Just wanted to compare like the values that we have. I'm gonna chuck out everything except for like the coal bunkers. We'll fit one of you over here. We'll fit one coal bunker over there, just so that we have plenty of propulsion being provided. Now the idea here is we're gonna fit in aerial torpedoes. They're quite a beauty. And I think if we stagger them like so... We're gonna have like a deck of... Eight of these beauties, maybe nine or ten. No, we'll, we'll go for eight. Let's not make it too ridiculous, he says. Now these are aerial torpedoes. I previously said that they weren't quite as good as a heavy cannon, however... I ignored the splash damage. Because looking at the figures itself, yeah, it's going to do 192 damage, which is because we upgraded it to be even better. Because why not? We've got the minimum range, but it's going to do 192. It's going to splash in 5 meters. If we hit a structure dead on, and that blast damage is 100% in the entire splash radius, that's going to be... like... 5 diameter, that's going to be a pretty big area. That's going to do a lot, a lot of damage. If we have 8 of these, and they're going to explode, which is not good, you know. If we have only 120, that, that might prove dangerous. It might prove a little bit dangerous, in which case we'd probably, like... Probably be safer to do something like this. But we're gonna see. We can always revise it, because Lord knows that we have the money for this. We do. 
So we'll see if this works. We'll put an ammo storage in over here. Put another one over here. Now, if we were to just go and connect this up corridors with ladder style, how well would we supply you with ammunition? You're below a second? The longest it takes is a second. I think we're okay. I'm pretty sure we'll be fine. That doesn't introduce a slight risk here. The ammo might get detonated by the torpedo, but I think we'll be fine, right? We'll be fine. Uh, let's turn off overlay here. Build resources, because we are going to need some fire extinguishers up in here. You bet. Actually, we didn't get any. Cool. I'm glad we went through the trouble there. Boop, boop, boop. There we get like six fire extinguishers in the front. I don't like the idea of using a mass of fire points because it means it'll take longer for water to get there. Sure, there won't be as much water, but the response time is a lot faster, and that, to me, is what matters. So I'm going to start squeezing in some bunks, I think. Uh, birds, definitely not over here. They're in here. There we go. It's gonna be a bit less explosion proof, we'll fit in like a machine parts thing over there. A targeting computer will go over here, because the boost from that is great. I like it. That is useful stuff. And as I said, we'll go to resources, we'll put in like... A repair bay... I said a repair bay over here, there we go. So that stuff over here can get fixed if it's damaged, but not destroyed. Very helpful. Uh, as quarters, we're sort of quarter line off here. So I don't like having quarters in the way of here. You know, we've got plenty of bursts throughout the ship that we're not likely to lose all our uh, troop quarters, our crew quarters. So we're not likely to lose the ship because of that. Uh, we'll put a put a telescope like over here. I'd like to put in a crow's nest as well, just for the 10% accuracy bonus, because these won't benefit from our cannon accuracy. So they're going to be inaccurate, even if we're using aim fire. That's why my idea for this ship, uh, this land ship, is to go in a lot closer than the other one. Well, if we wanted to, we could even fit in like another torpedo over here. I kind of like the idea of that, actually. We'll make it happen. Captain. Put like a berth over here. Maybe... Another quarter... Actually, we could fit a bridge in somewhere. Or not. If I squeeze you in one forward, I can. Let's put another berth over there. Put a bridge over here so that we can command this. There we go. Maybe another bridge over there. Command is everything. Well, maybe not literally everything, but you know what I mean. It's a lot. You need it. Still disconnected. Yeah, we've got the thing up there. I don't think we're going to go and include any, like, up-firing weapons here. Maybe a flag gun or two, just for, like, coverage? But this is, this is going to be a siege machine, like the Panther, but... Maybe a bit more siege if that makes any sense. We'll put in a reinforced steel cargo door, I guess. 300 HP. There we go. That's going to be their point of entry. Bit dangerous, perhaps. We'll definitely bring some guards. Maybe fit in, like, a guard barracks over here. There we go. Uh, at the moment, we would do 629 kilometers per hour. That's a bit insane. But I love it for it. Definitely got plenty of... Movement speed and things. Armor, you're making it out of regular armor, aren't you? No, you're using heavy steel. Good. Good man. Uh, if we're just going to plan on using, like, basic flak stuff, then we're definitely going to include a crow's nest over here. Uh, pop a berth over here. Not sure what we're going to fit over here. Maybe another repair bay would be good. 
definitely help, actually. Maybe a machine shop? Like in the back here. You'll have good access to repair tools. We'll add a ladder over here to fix that. Like the basic cord of a ladder. I don't like using these, I have to admit. But they have their purpose. We need more birds, however, so we'll fit two in over here. If we were to go sh uh, to structural, we could add a deck over here, a steel deck. Allows them to walk outside. No, no protection, but makes them move a bit faster. So yeah, everything would be within repair if we do it like this. And I kind of like the idea of being able to repair everything. I don't think we're going to need a keel for this. It would not be the stupidest idea ever to include one. Just, uh, just increase the ship HP by a little bit. It's not going to hurt anyone, right? We also have the money to build this, so it's fine. I'd like maybe another cockpit up here. Yeah, uh, no. I think we're fine. Six seconds. We're gonna place like the flat guns over here. They wouldn't get blocked by this, so that's fine. Uh, we'd need ammunition over here. That's what we'd need. There's a thing over here. We could put in a small ammo store. There's plenty of pathing around here to get us up there. So if we were to put like Two ammo stores over there. Not quite mutually accessible. Okay, maybe not. Not a fire extinguisher over here. Would connect and solve the problem. Want another berth over here then, in that case. And then we'll probably replace the berth, uh, the ladders over here as well. There we go. 63 crew, 55 recommended. Bit front heavy. It's it's got its charms, I guess. It's got its charms, right? Uh, we'll, we'll replace you with something proper. You can technically get through there. So I think I'll just leave you as it is. Shapes and decoration. Could do something like this. And then if we wanted to, we could do like that. It's not going to look pretty. If we do something like this again, it's not going to look too great either. Probably going to go with the... Uh, 1 to 3 slope here and just like round it off like that. It's not going to be the prettiest thing in the world, but it'll be a thing. Can we fit cockpits in here to make it command faster? Uh, yes, we can. Two cockpits? Sure, why not? Maybe just one, get the machine shop to have as many people as possible. Because the more we overstack on crew, the more that will be available for repairs and stuff, apparently. And just general replacement crew. It's not the worst idea in the world, right? And this way we've got a little... little flexibility. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of like you. Not that, that's silly. You're going to be the hammer, because you're going to smack stuff in a siege. I have no idea if this is going to work, but that's the beauty of this game. You can just faff about and see what works and what doesn't. But please indulge me as we experiment in the line of combat. You guys seem to like building, so I seem to like building, so hey, it's a win-win, right? There we go. This is definitely getting to the point of, I have too much money and I like to experiment. And that's totally fine, right? Decoration, how about... <laughs> how about a mouth over here, actually? Put like an eye over there. It's gonna look scary. Arr. So many windows. I wish you could turn the windows off and just have like windows at certain points where you'd like them to be and nowhere else. 
That would be nice. You're gonna have a flag. You deserve a flag. And boops. And antennas on the front. And stuff. Yeah. Have some tanks over there. A gold skull on the nose. And at the top. Why not? Oh, it's because of the flag. We'll put it next to the crow's nest then, because that guy's surely going to die. We'll put some giant tanks on there to carry our coal. Actually, how are we on coal? We've got a hundred coal. I think that's fine. Require one coal every five seconds. We've got like 500 seconds of coal. Slightly less because of the computer. But you know, you're not meant to move everywhere. You're meant to be up close and tank the damage. And then... Pour out a crap ton. We give you some nets. I think we might give you some nets. There we go. You have nets. And a coil. Why not? There we go. MC Hammer. Pour one out for my homie. There we go. I like you. You're expensive. Your maintenance is quite high. Your weight's alright. You move at 524 kilometers per hour. I'll have to see it to believe it. But, uh, yeah. Let's get hammered. Actually, where am I building you? You cheap your black spire, you know what? Yeah, we're gonna build the hammer right here. Stop, it's hammer time. And then we're gonna go attack Knopsh. We'll let the, uh, the hammer build for Catwick. And then we'll turn our eye on the, uh, Corono. There's a lot of fighting happening and stuff. Hi Panther, you don't need to worry about anything really? I'm gonna add the Dragon Riders to reserve so they don't participate in the battle yet. Hi, please do me a favor, focus on that one. Yeah. The, the actual turret can't fire on the uh, on the tiny building of the place we are, like, positioned in. But that's fine. We don't care about that. Hi, please give them what for. And then charge them! See, even on rapid fire, we should be able to hit, like, every single shot because of the targeting computer and all the things. Hi, here's bad news. We're close enough that they can shoot us with the flag guns. I'm gonna get, tell you to go to normal fire now. Just because. I think they might have surrendered. No? Okay, good. Good. Would have been too easy. Way too easy. Come on, Panther. I'm gonna have to move you back slightly, don't I? Just so we can get the big turret firing. There we go. You go, man. Get him. Got you. It's doing what we designed it for. You gotta give it that, at least. Is there any better terrain? Not really. That's like the best position for you to sit in and just pummel them. They have like four flag guns remaining. We could technically move up and boop the structure, but I don't think that's going to help much. There we go. We disarmed them, mainly. Thank you for that. Uh, we're going to go around the countryside now and just take all your stuff, Is that if that's fine with you. Got to be slightly careful here. They do have, like, one flat gun fortress. Semi-respectable. Oh, they just surrendered. Smart. Yeah, we're just gonna go around and conquer everything again. You're just gonna surrender, we're just gonna fly over here. That's cool. Thank you. It's a formality at this point, really. Needs less repairs done. That's worth something. I suppose. <laughs> Not that we have to worry about our expense account at this point. Hi, Sadine. Build me... Build me a hammer, why not? 
We're going to send that to the southern front. Hi, oh, you. Build me two shuttles, please. You know, no expense is spared at this point. Is there anything fun popping up in our lands? I don't think so. No pirates. No fun stuff. A shuttle over here. Oh, we'll move you to Pale Sea. Why not? They'll need you there more than over here. Oh, there's a giant spiders over here. I guess we can burn them out with... Yeah, we could burn those out. Neat. You just surrendered. Like the smart boy you are. We're gonna burn out some spiders. With dragons. That's the spider's natural enemy. A black widow. Enough venom in that creature to kill a city. Let's kill it quickly. Well... You know the old addendum. Kill it with fire. We... Flip around now. Yes, this Black Widow here is very intimidating. No doubt about it. I'm just gonna continue the whole kill it with fire thing. There we go, a proper response, I dare say. Oh yep, we've definitely killed the spider. We've hit it in the hurdy bit. Because we've lit it on fire. And we heard wood sounds. Remember, kids, even if it's a Black Widow, it's always a wood spider. Never thought I'd be making a joke about a wood spider, but hey, here we are. And here he goes, slowly but surely. We'll run out of map for him to flee. To. There we go. Pop goes the spider. There we go. You're welcome, people. You should all join me now. Oh, they've got two flag fortresses. We're just not going to do that then. Just because you're building a hammer now. You are working on the hammer. This is good. Pirates have set up a base. We're going to send the dragons over there next then. There we go. Attack the pirates. Who knows? They might have fun stuff. They might not have. Hi. Deserters and criminals preying on the weak. Wipe them out. We will. There we go. With fire and sword, we'll retake our world. Mainly fire. <laughs> Thank you for the money. Not that we needed it. Do they have any, like, solitary fleets? They do. Let's get a move on down here, then. Because these guys might actually need the help. Can we urge their fleet to move? We can. Click to intercept. All right. Oh, that's a new design. Well done. It's only taken you forever. That's weird. It's got suspendium tanks. It's got that. It's got a bucket load of cannons. It's got one poor soul in the observatory there, but you know, bless him. How are we going to go fly over you and burn you now, but that's okay. I, I, I used to like these, because they're actually, like, really good, but they're also really easy to counter, and I haven't seen these guys use a lot more, like, variation. It's kind of made me sad that this is the dominant design that came out on top on this part of the continent. You see it everywhere. There's no fun in it. Okay, you just bumped yourselves, that's not smart. You literally dove on top of the other guy, so that's their demise. Like I said, not Ooh. That one's keeping the other one afloat. That is some major carrying over there. I wish I had that guy on my team every time I played a multiplayer game. 
He is the MVP right now. So yeah, not much to do here, just wait until they drop. Quite literally. With a bit of luck, we get a combo deal. Two for one. I'll take a two for one. Ah, uh, you just... Yeah. Well done. Well done. I hope you're proud of yourself. There we go. Just take care of them from top to bottom and they're basically never a threat ever. I wonder if they're having fun. I know I'm having fun with my dragons. Well, maybe fun isn't the right word. It's going through the paces. No challenge here, we have a bunch of dragons and they don't. Ergo, we win. There we go. There go the lift tanks. You're buggered now. You know, I'm getting buggered. You are probably gonna light up. Yeah, there you go. How does that work for you, eh? Probably not very well. I'm gonna hazard a guess. Yeah, you're going down in altitude. Just like teammate of the year over there. And we're gonna not have any of that at this point. Teammate of the year has given up on carrying his friend. But they're rising back to the top. They're trying to ram us now. I wonder if we're gonna get a kill out of this. They're gonna kill a dragon. It's possible. But not very likely. I don't think we've taken a lot of damage yet. They definitely have. Oh, look at Teammate of the Year over there. They're now both squished. I'd say it's a shame, but it's really not. This guy, though. This guy is onto something. Keep maneuvering and they might not light you on fire. Too bad we just blew up his propeller and he's now stuck there. Yeah, how do you like that one? Oof. What a slow roast, am I right? <laughs> oh dear. I'd apologize, but that would be a false apology. Really be a non apology. I'm not apologizing for this. This is great. Hi, right, they're gone now. Let them on fire. Wipe up the pieces. Anyone? Anything? Was that bit tech? Yeah, there we go. Oh well. Boom. We've now basically changed the fate of this continent. I did try to invade it. Bless him. Yeah, no, you're not gonna attack me. That's not how this works. Oh, didums. Oh, man, that's sad. That is actually sad. You guys used to be a threat, you know? You used to be a threat. Now look at you. Now look at you. Iron Duke. Ooh, giant spiders. Kill them with fire. You know. Be a proper lad about it. Hello. A giant wolf spider! Okay. I don't think it matters except for, like, aesthetics. They all burn the same anyway. Ooh! That was a dragon boop right there. Hmm. Well, you're trying, dear Spider. You're a lot smarter than the last one. Although that's, uh... Not a high bar to set, I've got to be honest.
Hi, right, we've got you now. Yeah, you're gonna go away from him, and then you're gonna go back there, and then you're gonna go forward again. There we go. It's a howling wolf spider. He's bloody dead now. Only a thousand. See, they're getting cheap. These spiders, they're not even worth a lot anymore. We're crashing the spider economy, I think. What does that say about us as a empire that we do that? Anyway, we're gonna go have some fun with the stone guardian next. We're just killing time, really, to get stuff done. Which one? Oh, probably that one. Oh, you look different. You're pretty. Alright, okay, let's get information here. They're actually also changing targets. That's interesting. We're going to shoot you with lots of things. And then we're going to rub lots of things on you. I am not sorry. I am sorry for the pilots that we keep recruiting. You know what kind of propaganda we'd be using when your country needs you. But we might drop bombs on you. We would just decapitate it. Oh, well, there it goes. That answers that question. Bombs. Bombs. Really bloody helpful. Well, that's another 20k, thanks. <laughs> oh my god. I swear to god, I'm trying to get rid of this pile of money? But I don't know where. Uh, let's go back to Severe Secret Police. Yeah, that'll do it! Bloody hell! Control the entire map. Go broke immediately when your secret police is like, Hey, we might have a problem on our hands here. Like, Say no more! Throw money at the problem. Bloody hell. Yeah, now I can see why that crashed our economy earlier. I'm just gonna go to rapid fire on both of these vessels. Let's be honest, it doesn't matter. There we go, we booped him. Well done, lads. Nothing. That's what he. I don't think we can complain about not getting any credit for that after, like, all the havoc we just wrecked on all the stone guardians out there. There's turtle doves over here. We can kill those. Pretty sure those are passive. Hmm. Rare species. Don't you just love rare species for dinner? For a bit of a slow rose myself. Medium rare. You know. Hi, please, and thank you. There we go. Thousand. Thank you for the money. I'm sorry for, like, ruining all the exotic species in the world. Panther here is nearly built, finally. Only took, like, two full episodes. Sheesh. Get with the program, my man. Get with the program. We're gonna invade over here. Because we can, really. Yeah, these guys are now definitely getting squished. They're gonna go for Kranzberg next. That's fine. Hi. Uh, oh, yeah, right. Oh, you've actually built a ship. Cool, well done. Good for you. I am proud of you. Oh, you, you, you thought you were doing it? Okay. I mean, feel free to attack anything. Humor me, will you? I'm just gonna go repair, because it lost a locker. There we go. Ready to go. We have MC Hammer in the house. There we go. And you move like a ninja as well. Hi, can we... Yeah, we can intercept your fleet. Cool. Hello. Yeah, you're actually kind of dangerous because of those Gatling guns. Just don't tell it to their face. Hello. 
Oh, you're gonna fall now? And explode. And land on an island. And explode further. That wasn't me. I swear to God. Oh, yeah, they killed a dragon. Gatling guns. Real good against dragons. You're welcome. And I don't really care. Because my money's over 90,000. Good lord, y'all. It's a little bit cray cray. Just a little bit. On the plus side, we can now invade this place proper. Let's see what you can do, MC Hammer. Let's go! Uh, go aim fire, please. Boom. 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 Yeah. These are gonna wreak havoc. There we go. That blast damage is pretty good. I can see why people would use it. And now here's like nine of them. Oh. Oh. Oh, that is dirty. This is going to be a glass cannon, which is interesting because it's made out of like the best stuff we have, but glass cannon. But you can't deny its effectiveness. Let's go to Catwick. We'll finish this episode off with the proper siege. Oh my god, there's a second one of them. Yeah. So, fun fact, you can move by boat. There's these lines on the water. You can move from major ports to major ports on the water. So our, you know, it's got a little boat drawn on it. Look at that. Look at that. It's cool, isn't it? So your land ships can travel to sea. So we could technically use the hammers to invade down here. We just have to capture a place like Zim first. It's totally possible. Totally do it. So yeah, just keep that in mind. That is a thing you can do. We're gonna send in two hammers, cause we're bastards like that, my lord. Hi. Move forward, please. Oh man, do you see that? That is the epitome of ridiculousness. We're gonna have to tell them to target the heavy cannons, cause those are the best. It just wipes the building out of one go. That is marvelous. Boom! It's just gone. These are great. I need more of this. Why didn't I do this sooner? Oh, man. We're going to call it here for this episode, though. There's going to be more hammers running around. Just imagine that. We're going to have to do more sieges. That's going to be brilliant. That's going to be it for this episode. I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. I really enjoyed this one. Hopefully you did as well. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and perhaps a comment down below as well. Really do appreciate it. Really helps the channel out a lot. You have no idea. It's, it's super helpful. Thank you all very much. Your support recently has been crazy. This series has been doing really well and I'd just like to thank you for that. Anyway... If you're new here, you're not subscribed yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more ridiculous in your feed. Make sure to hit that little bell icon as well, because YouTube's crazy. Thank you all very much for watching. Until next time, have a good one, folks.